two Commonwealth Games Matt Wall's horror crash close to being a complete catastrophe. The family involved say their children could have been seriously injured or killed in the crash, which saw Matt Wall's catapulted into the crowd during the scratch race. A family involved in the horrifying mass crash during one of the track events at the Commonwealth Games, which saw Olympic champion Matt Walls hospitalized after flying over the barriers and into the crowd, say the incident was almost a complete catastrophe that could have seriously injured or killed their children. The devastating crash took place during the final lap of the qualification key for the scratch race, bringing eight riders down and catapulting Walls over the wall and into the front two rows of the stands, where Hugh Colvin was sitting with two of his children, aged five and seven, and some family friends. It all happened so incredibly quickly at the speed the cyclists were going, Colvin told the BBC. You can see the trajectory of the bike, it came through, grazed my daughter's shoulder, and in one of the photos you can see we're obviously underneath the wheel. I was facing the other way because I turned my head, but looking back at the photos it must have been within centimeters, millimeters, of our heads and obviously close enough to graze my daughter. Team England rider Walls was treated for over 40 minutes inside the Lee Valley Velo Park before being taken to hospital, where it was confirmed that he had suffered no serious injuries. Racing was abandoned for the morning session while the 24-year-old received treatment, but resumed in the afternoon as scheduled. The Isle of Man's Matt Bostick, who was carried away on a stretcher, and Canada's Derek G were also treated in hospital for minor injuries, with Bostick still aiming to take part in Sunday's road race. While the game's organizers initially stated that the two injured spectators, including the Colvin's seven-year-old daughter, did not require hospital treatment, Hugh's wife Laura told the BBC that a family friend, who was sitting beside the Colvins in the front row, is currently awaiting surgery for a serious arm injury which left him covered in blood. He suffered a laceration to the bone which the hospital has described as being like a machete injury, said Mrs. Colvin. It's been really difficult for him, he's still waiting for surgery. In addition to the soft tissue and muscle injury he's got a partially severed tendon in his arm, so it is the start of a long road to recovery for him. The Colvins, however, believe the consequences of the crash could not have been much worse. Hugh noted that Wall's bike landed in the two seats where his five-year-old son and nephew had been previously sitting, before they moved to the row behind to get a better view of the racing. What has been quite hard for us to get our head around is being able to see from the photographs that were taken of the incident exactly how close this came to being a complete catastrophe, Laura said. And how close our two younger children came to being seriously injured or killed. And that has been the main thing we've had to reflect on over the last few days. Laura Hansgro Pro Wall's video called the Colvin's daughter the day after the crash on Monday which the family say was a massive step forward in helping her come to terms with the incident. The Colvins hope that the incident will prove the catalyst for review of velodrome safety, in order to ensure that no family is ever going to find themselves in our situation. Mrs. Colvin, who claimed she was unaware of previous instances where track riders have ended up in the crowd, said, if we had known for a moment that there was a risk that a bike with an adult male going at that speed could come into contact with my seven-year-old daughter, my family would never have been there. Sean Dawson, the chief executive of Lee Valley Regional Park Authority, has noted that the venue complies with the UCI's regulations and that an incident similar to Sunday's horror crash has never happened before. We appreciate that this was a shocking experience for those involved and we offer our heartfelt best wishes to all those involved, he said. UCI under pressure to improve safety measures. However, many in the cycling world have called on the sport's governing body to introduce improved safety measures in velodromes to prevent a repeat of the Commonwealth Games horror crash. Following his release from hospital, Bostick told the BBC, there has to be something done because it's going down as a freak accident, but it has happened before. I don't know how many freak accidents become a normal accident. I dread to think if it had been worse. It should be a proactive decision to try and make it safer before it's a terrible accident. Six-time Olympic champion Chris Hoy argued that the dramatic incident was the direct result of not having a barrier at the top of the fencing. He said, I think it's preventable if they put a perspex screen to protect the crowd. I've seen a shot of it and it was horrendous to watch. Something has to be done before something genuinely serious happens. Meanwhile, Laura Kenny claimed that the crash, which she described as horrendous, almost put her off taking part in the women's points race. It's the third time now I've been in a village room and witnessed someone go over the top, Britain's most successful female Olympian said. Mad was laughing and making jokes with the paramedics which is brilliant to hear but if he'd not gone over, he would have done less damage and certainly done less damage to the little girl. She added, I think the crashes are getting worse and it's because the speeds are getting higher, the positions are getting more extreme. Some of the pursuit positions people are getting in, you see people crashing into the back of people. At some point the UCI are going to have to put a cap on these positions. Maybe there should be screens because Matt should not have been able to go over the top and into the crowd, that's pretty damn dangerous. UCI pledges to improve rider safety after high profile crashes. The Olodrome crash on the track in London has kicked off a week of scrutiny for the UCI's safety protocols. Two serious mass crashes during bunch sprints at the Vuelta a Borgos and the Tour of Poland prompted many pundits and fans to call in to question the effectiveness of the governing body's safety guidelines. The UCI's specifications for organizers was published in 2021 and 
new rules state that finishing straights must be sufficiently long and wide to ensure safety for the riders, with no obstacles, traffic islands and speed bumps in the final kilometer, while containing safe barrier designs. However, just days after Irish sprinter Sam Bennett was fortunate to dodge some questionably placed barriers which jutted out onto the course during the opening stage of the Tour of Poland, yesterday's stage featured a massive pileup on a corner with 800 meters to go. As the road drastically narrowed, a feature of the route which was not included in the roadbook provided by the organizers. At the Vuelta a Burgos, Jumbo Visma's David Decker lost control of his bike on a speed bump, positioned in the final 600 meters, sparking a shocking mass crash which saw a number of riders fly through the metal barriers. GCN commentator and former British champion Brian Smith pointed out that the speed bump, while noted by the race organizers in their list of danger points along the course, contravenes the UCI regulations and argued that cycling's governing body waits for safety-related incidents to occur before dealing with them. The same final kilometer was used for a stage of the Vuelta a Burgos in 2020 and passed without incident. Well, that contravenes the UCI regulations, so who signs these things off? Smith asked in commentary. It's the same with what has happened in Poland, this finish could have been fine and been used in years to come, but we had an incident. It feels as though the UCI waits for an incident, then reacts to it and that shouldn't be the case. Help us to bring you the best cycling content. Please share, like, and subscribe.